Hi, we come from the University of Waterloo. In this paper, we applied and investigated deep residual networks for hyperspectral image classification. Recently, deep learning models have achieved very high classification accuracy for hyperspectral image interpretation. However, the performance decreases as the depth increases after certain layers. Therefore, we compared deep residual networks and convolutional neural networks for hyperspectral image classification and employed a dimensionality reduction method for feature visualization. We tested ResNets and CNNs with different architectures to investigate the influence of adding batch normalization, different kernel numbers, and model depth. Two widely used hyperspectral image datasets have been adopted for training and testing ResNets and CNNs. As we can see in these figures, with the increase of kernel numbers, deep learning models generated better classification outcomes. These two tables demonstrate that ResNets mitigated but not fully overcome the decreasing accuracy phenomenon in the two cases. These figures show that ResNets delivered high quality classification maps with less noises in both datasets compared to the results of CNNs. In addition, the testing method reduces the dimensionalities of learned features. According to the visualization results, the, feature, the features generated by ResNets appear to be more separable and aggregated than CNNs. In conclusion, ResNets outperformed CNNs for hyperspectral image classification and alleviated the decreasing accuracy phenomenon of CNNs. Moreover, batch normalization enhanced the hyperspectral image interpretation performance. Thank you.